Hi friends, in this video, very important topic, Uniformly Distributed Winding. Let's see here, Uniformly Distributed Winding. What is the definition of Uniformly Distributed Winding? Here the definition is, if the phase belt M value is greater than phi, and the slat angle is less than or equals to 15 degrees then the winding is called uniformly distributed winding m greater than phi and gamma less than or equals to 15 degrees that winding is called uniformly distributed winding here the diagram is pure circle here the diagram is pure circle hence here EMF is perfectly sinusoidal, pure sinusoidal wave. Here the EMF is pure sinusoidal wave. That is important. And next, next generally KD for distributed winding we know sin M gamma by 2 upon M into sin gamma by 2. This is in generally KD for distributed winding. You know very well. But here in uniformly distributed winding, M value greater than 5. For example, I am taking M is equals to 6. For example, I am taking M is equals to 6. And gamma less than or equals to 15. For example, I am taking 10 degrees. Now tell me. Now tell me, is KD is equals to 6, 10. 6, 10 are 60. 60 upon 2, sine 30, sine 30 value 0 0.5. We know that. Next here, M6, sine of 10 by 2. Sine of 10 by 2, sine 5. Sine 5 value, do you know the sine 5 value? We don't know the sine 5 value. But how we can calculate, sir? For uniformly distributed winding, before calculating, here one formula is there, sin theta is equals to theta. Sin theta can be written as theta and converting to radians, converting to radians. When theta is a small angle, if theta is a small angle, we can write sin theta is equal to theta and convert into radians. Now tell me, what is KD for uniformly distributed winding? KD for uniformly distributed winding is equals to, this is not a small value. This is only the small value. So write that, sin M gamma by 2 upon M into, this is a small value, sin theta is equals to theta. So, gamma by 2 and uh, convert into radians pi by 180 degrees. This is the distribution factor for uniformly distributed winding. For uniformly distributed winding, the distribution factor value is very different. Here, m into gamma by 2 can be realized. m gamma by 2 and convert into radians pi by 180 degrees. This is simply about uniformly distributed winding. Here the EMF is pure sinusoidal wave. Right? This is the concept. Now the question. For example, they will ask you a question. A three phase 50 heads, 50 heads, 50 kVA or 500 kVA or 500 MVA. Alternator, a four pole, four pole, so and so, 200 slots. Alternator, so also 200 slots are 200 or 240 slots alternator. And they given the speed also, they given uh, 1500 or something up in. And so and so, so and so, so and so. And having uniformly distributed winding, then find distribution factor like this. They will give you a big question. The finally ask you the distribution factor, the machine having uniformly distributed winding. Then tell me how we can find out the that uniformly distributed winding distri uh, distribution factor. 
So this is the formula. First we have to calculate M sir. Then after you have to calculate gamma sir. This is time wasting. Don't calculate M and don't calculate gamma. This is very very simple question. Because we know the M gamma. We know the M gamma. No need to calculate M and gamma separately. Because M gamma is equals to 180 upon number of phases. For example, if it is a three phase machine, then M gamma is equals to 180 upon 3, nothing but 60 degrees. For example, it is a two phase machine, M gamma is equals to 180 upon 2, nothing but 90 degrees. For example, it is a single phase machine, M gamma is equals to 180 upon 1, so 180 degrees. This is simply no need to calculate M and gamma. And here you have to remember one thing is it is distributed or uniformly distributed. That's it enough. And we want the distribution factor, no need of given data. These two are enough. Because we know the value of 60 degrees and m gamma. So here the distribution factor is equals to here the distribution factor is equals to sin m gamma by 2 sin m gamma by 2 m gamma 60 upon upon m gamma by 2 into m gamma by 2 into pi by 180 degrees. Will you calculate or not? Sin 60 by 2, nothing but sin 30. Sin 30 is nothing but 1 by 2 upon 61 so 63 is a. So what is answer? Pi by 2 into 3. If you calculate all these, this 1 by 2, this 1 by 2 gets cancelled. So finally you can get the answer KD is equals to 3 by pi. What is that? For three phase machine, if it is uniformly distributed winding, then the distribution factor, you should remember this. Don't do in your exam. You should remember this directly. So, for three phase machine, KD is equals to 3 by pi. Now, hold the video and calculate KD for two phase and single phase machines. Calculate. Hold the video. Hold the video and calculate these two answers. Right? Tell me, here, KD is equals to sine 90 by 2. Sine 90 by 2 is nothing but sine 45. Upon 90 by 2 and pi by 180, if you calculate this, you will get an answer 2 root 2 upon pi. For 3 phase machine, 3 upon pi. For 2 phase machine, 2 root 2 by pi. 2 root 2 by pi. And for single phase machine, KD is equals to, KD is equals to, tell me, sin 180 by 2, nothing but sin 90, sin 91 and 180 upon 2 and pi by 180, 180, 180 cancel, so the answer is 2 by pi, 2 by pi. So, so for three phase machine, the KD or the distribution factor is, 3 by pi and for two phase machine the KDR distribution factor is 2 root 2 by pi and for single phase machine the distribution factor is 2 by 5 this is only for uniformly distributed winding we can get the answer directly no need to calculate are you getting or not okay so finally what is our conclusion what is our conclusion the conclusion for three phase machine the distribution factor for uniformly distributed winding is are you okay it is 3 by pi for two phase machine the distribution factor is 2 root 2 upon pi for single phase machine the distribution factor is 2 upon pi. You should remember all these because m gamma is equals to 180 by number of phases. From this we can calculate easily. No need of formula. This is for uniformly distributed winding. 
Now, the final question. You know already. In which of the following case, we can get the sinusoidal EMF, short pitch distributed winding, short pitch concentrated winding, short pitch uniformly distributed winding, all of the above. In which we can get perfect or pure sinusoidal wave pure sinusoidal wave in which we can get pure sinusoidal wave option a or option c yeah very good option c because here uniformly distributed is there for example they will ask you question in which emf is not sinusoidal in which emf is not sinusoidal exactly here concentrated winding is there then emf is not sinusoidal this is simply about uniformly distributed winding very important thing is it okay right thank you